Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. It is Monday, believe it or not. Uh, what is today? The 15th, 16th, I think the 16th of June. Don't hold me to that. Uh, it is a Monday, but I uh, believe that is the date. Um, just got back from Walmart. Never a good experience there, but uh, tonight actually went pretty well for Walmart. Uh, as you know, Jade Firecracking dropped uh, actually while we were at E3. Uh, there were people reporting him, you know, being found at uh, Walmart's. And, of course, Walmart, the way they do their stuff, usually, uh, you'll start to see the Skylanders on the West Coast. They work their way back east. We're all out there uh, in the Los Angeles area. It's prime picking time. And uh, uh, P. Diddy Sports Cards, he actually ran into a Walmart, I think, uh, maybe the day after. I think his flight was a little later than mine. And uh, he tried to get one that was register locked. Again, that's what a lot of people were running into. And then it happened across the nation. Some stores would sell with an override. Some wouldn't. Uh, sounded like a debacle. And then, of course, I guess probably yesterday uh, was like the official release date, if you will, when they're unlocked. But uh, kickoff countdown also there. Um, the Walmart I went in typically has nothing. Uh, the reason I went there is closer and less crowded. As you know, I don't like crowds, particularly crowds at Walmart. But uh, I was surprised. They have beefed up their stock considerably. Um, let me actually uh, grab this for you. Uh, something that they had that some of you may take interest in. I did not see, you know, like Series 2 Bash or Series 2... Uh, <clears throat> Who's the other guy? Someone. I can't think of who I was going to say now, but what I did see that was kind of a surprise was a Series 2 Slam Bam, and they also had Series 2 Flame Slinger, both about equal stock. Um, these guys are still pretty hard to find. Slam Bam is my nephew's favorite character. This is one of, uh, hands down, the best poses, in my opinion. Um, as you know, I've started custom painting Skylanders. I have something in mind for my nephew on this one. I don't know that it's going to turn out. It's going to be a total crapshoot, but $7.96 is the price. I figure that's the time to take a gamble on it. Speaking of custom painted Skylanders, in addition to looking for Chase McCain, Somewhere on the pool table, I've got my newest custom painted Skylander. Not quite sure how I feel. It didn't really turn out like I wanted it to, but uh, if you see it, uh, you'll kind of have a tip off on what is to come. That said, right here is Firecrack, and he is, of course, one of the fire element swappers. His ability is bounce. That's the uh, areas he has special access to. Very, very popular guy, in part because he's a dragon. Uh, there's this like huge affinity, I don't care what game it is, there's like this cult of dragon people. And uh, anything to do with dragons is like instantly bumped up. Uh, you could have like Flashwing and Spyro, and you could like toss them against some of the other favorites like uh, Pop Fizz and Ghost Roaster, and you know, some of the new characters. And the dragons will always perform well just because there's like that niche fan base that will never go away. Now, Firecracking, I know I should have upgraded him, but I told you, I believe in the process, I was going to wait on Jade so I could do them both at the same time. Um, I've only played with him box stock. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. That may change with the upgrades, but uh, nonetheless, he does look pretty cool. So this is his standard pulse. What's cool about this, now that Jade is released, instead of having to go out and buy a duplicate Firecracking, you can get Jade and you can have all four of his pass for the Swap Force. Uh, with Blast Zone, he has joined. That's his other fire element comrade here. This is standard old Blast Zone. Cool thing with him is he actually has a second alternative, which is Dark Blast Zone. Comes in the GameStop exclusive Dark Edition starter pack. And if you're like me, um, you've got another Blast Zone, and you custom paint it, and you have Patriot Blast Zone. So um, if you have not, uh, go ahead and let me know which of the three Blast Zones is your favorite. But uh, it's killing me, the polls. There's so many polls I want to be running right now. For whatever reason, the hosting client is down. That's why everything is like zeroed out on the site. But uh, usually I've got really cool polls going you can vote in. So uh, with that still down, I just kind of have to ask for your feedback here. That said, what we're going to do... Take a look at the man of the hour, the guy that was released recently, now available, not registered, locked, $14.96. My local store had 12 of Jade Fire Kraken in stock, so um, note the packaging here is reflective of Jade Fire Kraken. It's got the recolor and the artwork there. Uh, spin wheel spinning around, we've got Fire Kraken, Fire Jet, that's of course bottom into Boom Jet, Fire Shift, bottom into Night Shift, 
fire drill it bought them into gorilla drill they did have some gorilla drillers i still held out i'm kind of wanting to pick that up on a sale or something um he's one of the only ones now i don't have a second character on but uh nonetheless this is jade fire cracking obviously fire element obviously swap force uh slogan as you might have guessed burn to be wild uh coming over here again as i mentioned earlier he is a bounce ability for his swap zones now coming around to the back side you've got blast zone wash buckler doing their thing showcasing uh you know the gimmick the catch if you will for the series there uh that is a screenshot there of jade fire cracking in the game it actually looks pretty good there uh, so that's going to be interesting but uh other featured characters we got trap shadow freeze blade doomstone and stink bomb as you can see he is not backward compatible will you be able to play as your jade fire cracking in trap team yes so uh we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the handy dandy dull uh old timer butter knife out and uh, crack this guy open so we can take a good look at him. Uh, actually, I don't have to. He's already opened. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, seriously, I promise I did not cut that. I started to, and I was like, oh, it's kind of loose. And then I realized, oh, wow, it's really loose. Um, that is about as clean a break as you could ever, ever hope for. I tell you all the time to be careful if you're a collector and reuse the packaging. I mean, that thing, like, practically opened itself. Um, the adhesive is either gone downhill or the fact it's like 102 here today maybe that has something to do with it uh maybe they've been sitting in a warehouse for an eternity i don't know what the deal is but i mean that that is a first for me that the back has just basically unboxed itself so uh thank you for the convenience it's like when escalators are broken uh they're never truly broken because you can always go up and down they're just not automated so kind of that type of a situation here um that said, what I do have to do, now that that part is done, the tedious hard work begins. I've actually got to slide him out of this plastic uh, coffin, if you will. Now, if you are a collector, if you do use the Sortmates Power A cases, whatever it may be, and you like to keep the name tags for storage purposes, go ahead, cut the tape. That way you're not going to bend or tear it. Um, as you know, my favorite part of unboxing a Swap Force character, I'm truly going to miss this when Trap Team comes out, is the fact that when I pull back, they literally split in two. And that, to me, just, it's never gotten old. This is about the last uh swapper i will probably unbox for you and that to me is still absolutely hysterical now this part you do have to be careful it's been a while since i've done fire tracking but uh, just take your time always pull from the base as much as possible don't rely on like your top in there uh now speaking of base we need to come in here and just try this out good news bottom end always much easier than the top that actually looks a lot better out of the packaging um what do we have included with the figure that we will soon reassemble we have the stat card i really wanted to ask the guys at e3 if there was going to be stat cards with the trap team that would actually correlate to the in-game stats i've still not quite ever figured out why we've got like this wide margin people have thrown out all kinds of theories and stuff at me but uh in my opinion these numbers here should match up with the either box stock numbers of the character or the fully maxed numbers of the character and they do neither so uh whatever crazy concepts or ideas you've got until it matches with one of those i'm probably not going to be happy so uh that said he does get a standalone card here jade fire cracking very cool artwork there um Power or strength, 170 of 200. Armor, defense, 7200. Speed and agility, 170 of 200. Luck, uh, a little bit on the low side, 60 of 200. So uh, that's 340, 400, 470 out of a potential 800, at least in terms of this uh, card score here. Now behind that, we've got the sticker sheet. There's your uh, sticker same artwork if you will below that you've got the qr code web code things of that nature um just like previous uh specials uh where standard like fire cracking would be a sticker you can split in half jades you cannot so it is a one piece sticker uh so i guess their thoughts are you know who's gonna make like jade zone or jade bomb you know it's it's probably gonna be you're going to keep your special Dark Blast and your special Jade Fire cracking together. Now, as I reassemble this masterful menace here, I'm going to hold him here so you've got something pretty to look at. And uh, don't forget Chase McCain and a teaser for what's to come if you uh, get tired of looking at Jade Fire cracking. We're going to cover his background story. Slogan, of course, Burn to be Wild. Uh, if you're not familiar with Steppenwolf, 
Uh, check that out. It's a uh, classic rock band. Slowly fading away from the conscious, and that's not a good thing in my opinion. Um, that said, his background story. Raised on a small island surrounded by a vast ocean of fire, Firecracken was the swiftest, most agile warrior his tribe had ever seen. When a fleet of fire troll ships arrived to steal the legendary Burning Heart, a huge elemental crystal that fueled the fiery seas, Firecracken leapt into action. Using a magical staff to control his natural ability to wield fire, he set the mighty ships ablaze, forcing the trolls into a hasty retreat. Having saved the Burning Heart as well as his homeland, Firecracken soon joined the Skylanders, where he knew his skills would help those in need. Now, um, I got a little antsy because I'm using standard batteries, uh, not my rechargeables, and it's already going dead in their brand new. So, uh, ten and a half minutes is apparently what they will give you. Um, that's it. This is a good look at Jade Firecracken. I have to say, I actually do like him. Uh, it's a translucent, if you will. Uh, which I always kind of enjoy that, even if it's not the greatest color or the best character to do a translucent. Uh, it's just always cool to see. It's kind of like the latest Cinder uh, Phantom Dash. Uh, very different than Jade Firecrack, and we just kind of had like some green highlights. I'll probably have a picture of these two, the two Jades, if you will, uh, side by side. You can find that at the link at the top of the video description, one of Weasm.com. You'll also see the boxed up pictures of Jade Firecrack and uh, the stat cards, his other fire element friends, uh, side by sides with standard Firecrack. But uh, we basically have. That's yeah, four colors going on here. We've got the translucent green. We've kind of got a painted green on the uh, undergarment. I don't really know what we'd call it. The staff is kind of a straight up old school traditional green. Gold on the eyebrows, gold on the uh, cuffs, gold for the hands and claws, gold for the knee pads. Uh, white on the teeth, kind of a like royal red if you will. Uh, there on the tongue coming around. All you really see translucent green, the uh, green waistband area, and then of course highlights of the gold. Um, right here we have the fire element base. Blue of course indicates swap force is what we're dealing with. Uh, that of course is a bounce ability. Now the money shot here is going to be when you compare these two. Um, it really is going to come down to if you are a red and yellow person or you prefer like green or translucence or something that looks special now. Uh, the lips also gold. That's a very nice touch. They also did a white fade there. Something I always wondered was like where the blue hair came from. Um, I don't know. But uh, in this it's kind of taken care of. It's all uniform. Staff obviously different. You've got the red and the yellow fade versus the translucent green. Um, this is very colorful. It looks like what you would see if you were like at an authentic parade where people do the dragon thing. That said, I think I prefer Jade. Uh, it's just it's a very unique look and given the fact that he is a dragon, that's kind of more on the color scheme I would consider a dragon. Uh, dragons I think of like greens, blue, purple, uh, not so much red, yellow, and kind of like circus act blue. You know, that's just me. But, uh... I honestly do think I prefer Jade Firecracking, so that's cool. And uh, like I said, the biggest thing uh, now, for those of us that, you know, you may not be a huge Firecracking fan, you can now pick up Jade, you can check out the other two paths. Uh, for those of you that are huge Firecracking fans, you've probably already got to, you've explored all his paths, take your Jade Firecracking down the path combo that you actually prefer the best. So, uh, very cool setup there, but again, that is Jade Firecracking. I got him at Walmart, there were 12 on the shelf, I believe they come in a box of 12 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I guess I had first pickings if you will. $14.96 is the price. Uh, again, very well stocked. They were all there. Now there's 10 since I got two. And uh, you can get it now at Walmart. Should be hitting other retailers very, very soon. Walmart will be your lowest price always, uh, barring a sale or coupons, things of that nature. So uh, that said, Jade Firecracking available now. Check your local Walmart. Uh, if you're not a fan of Walmart, be patient, hold out for your uh, preferred retailer to get him in, but uh, $14.96, at this point in time where, you know, if this was like November, December, this guy would be flying off the shelves. I probably wouldn't have got him today. As we get farther and farther away from Christmas, farther from the release in October and closer to the release of the new game, this October in Trap Team, some of the special characters tend to sit a little bit longer, so I'm not advocating that you just put it off and wait for like a liquidation sale when Trap Team launches. 
And if it's a deal, if you get home from work or school, you're tired and busy, you don't have to go immediately. I would still advise going this week as soon as possible. But it's not one of those deals like you need to get up now and go to the 24-hour Walmart type situation. So uh, take solstice in that. But again, Jade Firecrack in 1496 at Walmart. Uh, I will now. I'm going to go ahead and finish my progression. Uh, I've got Spy Rise, the two undeads, which I am, I've been waiting a long time to do Night Shift and Rattle Shake. I'm very excited to fully upgrade those guys. Uh, then I'll round out the water. I'll probably do the New Landers, finish those up first. Then I'll come back and we'll take out uh, Firecrack. And hopefully once I get the base upgrades in the past, he'll kind of come around to me. Uh, everything I've heard, he upgrades very well. It's very unique. Most people love the guy. Uh, just my initial impressions, I kind of prefer to other characters. But as I always say, even in my case, I don't just preach this to you. Uh, if there is ever a Skylander that you are not a fan of initially, Take the time to upgrade them, max them out. Then, uh, even if you're not a huge fan, they're not your number one favorite, they will at least be respectable. You'll have a place for them, uh, and you can appreciate kind of their evolution as they upgrade. So, uh, that said, I will leave it at that. Uh, equally, I mean, these are the same weight, same size, same everything. It's an alternate dimension, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he is available now. Probably won't have too much trouble picking him up. But uh, again, that may depend on population and, of course, the number of uh, dragon enthusiasts in your area. So, uh, that said, Jay Firecracking, very cool looking character, in my opinion. Again, that link at the top of the video description box, I'll have more information than you care to know. Uh, all the base details people always ask where'd you get it, the price, which never quite understood that when it's in the video and at the description and the uh, link. But uh, it's right there if you don't know or you just prefer to read. Uh, similarly, I will have pictures, all the fire swappers, the fire krakens, the jades, everything like that. So lots of detail there if you take that link. That's the only place you'll see it, one of .com. Speaking of that, check the site out regularly. Always cool stuff going up, particularly now with uh, E3 Trap Team news. But uh, that said, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. That will keep you up with all the latest. Uh, what I will try to do tonight is get my character introduction video done. Uh, that's, of course, in-game. And then I'll come in and we will uh, go through probably, and uh, I don't know if I'll do gameplay or just kind of wait for the upgrade, but there will be the character introduction coming, so uh, stay tuned for that one later on tonight. I'll probably have it up really late. He does have those follow UIs like Double Trouble SSA's figure, so that's kind of a cool deal. If you've got some cheesy music or an animation, uh, you can have a lot of fun with these two guys, but uh, nonetheless, he is available. Good luck landing him. Uh, hope you enjoy him. Obviously, firecracking people are uh, ecstatic right now, but uh, for my Firecracking and Jade Firecracking. Thanks for watching. And as these two guys would say, burn to be wild.